So a uh, terrorist attack happened in Egypt today, killing more than 230 people. It's believed to be an uh, ISIS uh, affiliate group. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, this is pretty fucking tragic. And these people didn't deserve this. Doesn't matter what race, religion, nationality, nationality they are. Uh, they're innocent victims. And this is horrible tragedy, right? But the one thing I do need to address is that I see a lot of articles, a lot of people coming out saying like, hey, this is proof that this has nothing to do with Islam. And just because, and look at they're killing only Muslims majority. So this must mean that they're just uh, extremist meanies and they just like to kill, etc. And it has nothing to do with religion, which in my opinion is false, right? Like... For centuries, in the past too, Christians were killing each other, and they all followed the same religion, right? And just different interpretations of it. And nobody's going to say that either one of those people aren't Christians because they were butchering each other in mass amounts, right? So to say that Islam, or I mean ISIS has nothing to do with Islam just because they're killing other Muslims... It's kind of saying like Catholics or whatever are Christians because they were killing, I don't know, uh, Protestants or something like that. Or people that didn't follow the religion to the fullest extent, right? So what, what do they do to heretics in the past, right? People who didn't necessarily believe, etc. what the church wanted you to believe, they, they killed them. So this is what ISIS is, right? They are just the modern day executioners for their own religion, and they're just enforcing their uh, extreme interpretation of it. And it's not even extreme interpretation; it is the actual interpretation of it. But they're just interpret interpreting it accurately and to a T, right? And they're they're like reading it, and they're like, "Oh, it says do this, so I'm gonna do this," right? And there's also abrogation within Islam, so. Even though there's some good passages early, right, where the majority of Muslims tend to cherry pick, like they cherry pick those passages. That's why the majority of Muslims are not terrorists and killing people. But the ones who don't, those ones tend to become uh, either terrorists or Islamists, one or the other. So it's, it is still the religion which is a problem. Just because the majority of the people they're killing are other Muslims does not mean it still has nothing to do with Islam. And a lot of people are jumping down Trump's throat over the tweet he had over this, how he was talking about enforcing the travel ban. And they're like, oh, how does this make sense? They kill majority Muslims, blah, blah. It's like, so what? You, you still want to bring those people over, right? First of all, Muslims do have a different culture. You, they're, they're not as... They don't in integrate as well, even the ones who are not terrorists. And second of all, it's very hard to vet people. So we know there's terrorist attacks going on in these, in these places, these countries, all the time. Why would you bring in a large number of them whom, whom you do not know could have a few terrorists here and there? It makes no sense. Why would you? It's easier to fight them in one region than it is to separate them all over the world <laughs> in little pockets in other regions. So then what So what do they do? They radicalize other people in that area. And so it's not It's not good. The, those countries, Egypt, should probably be on a travel ban too, right? Honestly, it should be. And that's what happened is still horrible. And my heart still goes out to them and still and it's victims. But that doesn't mean we should like turn our brains off and shit you know like it is still islam which is the problem even if they're killing other muslims right it's still that's still an issue so this isn't proof this is just proof that they kill like indiscriminately <laughs> and shit and they'll kill muslims who they don't like as as well as christians and other people too Right in Westerners and stuff, they'll they'll kill anybody, right? 
So them killing a bunch of Muslims does, doesn't mean anything. Doesn't prove anything. And it's still, it's like I said before, it's horrible. And I don't condone what happened. It, they're innocent victims. But uh, a ban is still necessary. Keeping these country, people in their own country is still necessary, right? So, you know, that's just my opinion on the matter. And my heart goes out to the victims and the families of Egypt. And I hope that, you know, your security forces and, and your government can tamp down on this issue and hopefully America and other countries can help you kill these people wipe them out and hopefully our countries aren't stupid enough to import them into our countries and make our countries worse right that wouldn't be smart either but that's all I pretty much had to say if you like my content subscribe and have a good day